What is up, party people? It is your boy Voltron with another anchor video. Man, I wasn't supposed to record today. I was planning to take the day off, and it seems like the anchor news keeps coming. It's coming faster than than I can keep up with them. I can't keep up with them. But it sounds like Anchor is going to talk about app change tomorrow. Big Kev sent out a tweet. If you've been watching the channel, you kind of already knew that, or if you follow me on Twitter, we've kind of already guessed that it was going to be based on app chains. And it sounds like they are going to be upgrading the app chains, possibly talking about security for the app chains or speed. Um, but that's something that with any technology you expect, eventually you have to upgrade it because there's stuff that could go wrong or it has to keep up with the new technology. If you watch the channel, I posted a video earlier about hyperchains. And hyperchains is basically a nap chain. They're similar, but not exactly the same thing. And that is something that if they may be working on with CK Sync. And there's, you know, there are times where an app chain is better, and there are times where a hyperchain may be the better option. After I made that video, I started thinking, could ultimately we see like a subgroup of app chains or hyperchains? A subgroup. Think about it. Our boy Big Kev tweeted that it the idea here is to invite enterprises to come in and start using the technology. So it sounds like they they are working on creating a product that is appealing to non Web3 companies. For example, possibly banks. And I say banks because if you follow me, if you watch one of the previous videos or you follow me on Twitter, I posted, a, I sent out a tweet about banking and anchor. And it's something that was posted on the Microsoft marketplace. So it means anchor is aiming at banks. And it has me thinking, are they working on a subgroup of app chains? Bank chains. App chains that are specifically made for the banking system. You know, they're ready to go, plug and play, tweak it a little bit so that it, it looks customized for your bank. But it sounds like something that could potentially be produced by Anchor Bank Chains. And that actually sounds nicer because lots of times there's so many terms that are being used for side chains app chains, hyper chains, they, they may be a little different, each one of them, but in this, there's, they have a lot of similarities in essence. And the bank's not going to understand what this dev talk is all about. They just want to know, what can we use? So you have a product, you call it a bank chain, and they are, they are more inclined to use it because it's in language that they can understand. And could there be a use for that? There might be. There's a bank. I was looking at Bank Standard Charter, and they've been looking at blockchain technology, and they may want to use a bank chain. So there's a good chance that the folks at Anchor could be talking to a bank like Standard Charter. Not just them. There are other banks, but that's like one that's actively looking at blockchain technology. So could we be seeing bank chains in the future? Only time will tell. Until next time, guys. Peace out. 